Hey everybody, it's Mike AK That Card Guy. Yeah, I know a lot of you may know me as Mike That Reseller Guy, but I'm showing my video today on this channel because I pretty much sold only sports cards today. So I figured I'd go ahead and show my daily eBay sales here. So let's get going. Okay, a couple of the sales weren't actually sports cards, but they were either sports or card related. So first up, I got this little pack or four packs of Pokemon cards. Uh, these are Sword and Shield battle styles. I really don't know a whole lot about current Pokemon cards, what ones are val valuable, what packs aren't valuable. But I picked up a bunch of these in a recent purchase that I got that had predominantly sports cards, but a bunch of these packs as well. Uh, not super valuable. I was actually kind of surprised this sold for, I think it was $14 or $15.99 plus shipping. And the other non-sports card item were these, yeah, these WWE Championship belts. I find these a lot at Halloween. They come out in the Halloween costume section. So I picked up a bunch over the last few weeks, bundled the three of these together because individually these sell for, you know, you may see them for $10 to $20, somewhere in that range. But I figured I'd just bundle the three of them together. Oh, we have that one with the big, that one. And then we got these two, the United States champion and whatever champion that one is. So this lot of three belts, put them together. It didn't take too long to sell, put just a few weeks. Ended up getting $39.99 plus shipping. So about $13 and change per belt. I paid like a dollar to three dollars a piece for these. So that's a pretty good return. On to the sports cards. Now I did sell, let's see, one, two, three, four, five cards and they were all basketball. Over the last several weeks, I have a contact of mine that has another contact that's been selling me cards. So he gives them to that guy, that guy gives them to me. And I've been kind of just taking the lot and then coming up with a price that I think is fair for both of us. He always thinks his cards are a little more valuable. So sometimes I've had to pay up a little more than I would want to, but not too much. Like I would give an offer of 125. He may say, hey, give me 150 and we'll call it good. I want to keep that relationship going. So for 25 bucks, I'm more than willing to go ahead and pay a little more than I want just to make sure that the cards keep coming to me first. I've probably bought thousands of cards off of him. I have a box back here that I'm going through. This is all basketball, all of these, and it's all new product. The guy breaks tons of wax. So it's a, it's a lot of cards from Prism. It's that kind of stuff. So inserts, we have colored Prisms, green inserts. There is just everything in here. These clearly cards from Donruss, Revolution inserts and rookies. So all of these cards that are in here right now are worth anywhere between probably a dollar to $10. There might be a couple in there that could be 12 or 15. I think I've pulled out most of the ones that are higher than that and already got them listed. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to list 10 new cards every day on my eBay store. That's what I did yesterday. And that's why I sold this many basketball cards because I've been loading it up, buying lots of stuff. It's good quality inventory. I'll be probably having a lot of card sales here over the next several weeks as I continue to definitely pump this inventory into my store. Some of them are gonna be good sales for $40. I think I got a couple of different ones in here that are 40, other ones that might be five or $6. So uh, we'll cover it here, we'll show you what's sold. I'm gonna to have to read the names here. I don't have my glasses, hopefully I can read it off the screen. Tyrese Maxi, I believe that's how it's pronounced. This is a select silver rookie card. This one's not too valuable. It sold for I think 10 bucks plus shipping. And when they're under $20, I use eBay standard envelope, it ships out for 53 cents. Nice, quick, and easy. I charge the buyer a dollar. Right. Next is Aaron Nesmith. If that's how you pronounce it. This is a, some of these have some crazy names. If you're not familiar with cards, you got to look them up to figure out the names. This is a Donruss. I'll have to look at the screen. A Donruss Choice Rated Rookie, the Mojo Silver version. It's not serial numbered, but uh, you'll see in the pop up a little better. It's very silvery, very shiny. That's what this one is. Mojo Silver. Sold for a whopping $4.99 plus shipping. And that's kind of the limit of what I'm going for. I'm trying to list cards that are $5 and up in my store. Anything that's cheaper, I'll either sell off for a dollar or so in my collectibles booth or it might go off to CUMC where I'll sell it on there. Next cheaper card is De'Aaron Fox. And this is a Prism Blue Disco. Yeah, Blue Disco because it has like little disco swirls, little dots on it. Again, you'll see it in the pop-up a lot better. But uh, this one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And then the two big cards out of this lot. First up, we have Patrick Williams, and this is his Prism Silver Rookie. That's what they look like on the back in case you're curious. This one here is definitely a lot better. This one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. No eBay standard envelope since it's over 20 bucks. What I do is I all these cards I put into a team bag, keeps them from sliding out. 
Then the more expensive ones, I'll tape on a small piece of cardboard and then put that inside a bubble mailer. And it ships out for $3 and change just depending on where it's going. So yeah, 40 bucks plus shipping for that one. And the last card, got a bunch of these. He was holding this player back and he put him in this last little lot that I got. This is Tyrese Halliburton. And same thing, this is his Prism Silver rookie card. There's the back as well. Get a lot of glare if I hold it straight, so I gotta hold it at this angle so you can see. Uh, again, same exact price, $39.99 plus shipping, same thing. It's gonna go out in a bubble mailer. I did actually sh sell some more of these. I'll show a little pop-up here. Got a bunch of the of the base version of this card and uh, this, this lot sold quickly. I had four of them. I believe I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping and same thing, charge $4, put them in a bubble mailer. So that one sold yesterday. So a lot of Tyrese Halliburton's were in this last bunch that I got and I have a bunch of them in my store right now. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show this video real quick. I figured I'd throw it out on this channel rather than my regular reseller guy channel since it's pretty much cards only. So, all right, that's it. If you're new to this channel, you're watching for the first time, hit subscribe if you like content like this. I definitely appreciate the support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.